Recently, Skull & Co. stepped up to the plate, no pun intended, well, actually pun very much intended, and they sent us this here. This is the Neo Grip designed for the Nintendo Switch and the Switch Lite, and it is an incredibly comfortable way to play either of those devices in handheld mode. The one downside, doesn't work with the Switch Lite, but the folks from Skull & Co. have stepped up to the plate, pun very much intended, and sent us this here. This is the Max Carry Case and the Grip Case designed for the Nintendo Switch Lite. Hey everyone, Gary here with Rocksaw Productions. Welcome to this episode. I hope you do find this interesting. Now, what I want to know from you here in this episode, MLB The Show 22 is now on the Nintendo Switch, or it will be coming this season. This is the tech demo. I want to know, are you excited for it on the Switch? Or are you going to play it on another platform? PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series. Me, I'm probably going to go PS5. I've played the demo. I get WWE 2K18 vibes from it. That's all I'm going to say. But the Nintendo Switch Lite is an amazing little handheld device. It omits some of the technology that the Switch and the Switch OLED has, so you can't hook it up to a TV, but it is a great device for in handheld mode. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna unbox this, we're gonna check the fitment, and we are gonna go ahead and see how it compares to some of the other grips on the market. Let's go get started. So here we have the grip case with the Max Carry Case combo. Now this is available just as the Max Carry Case, just as the grip case, or the combo as you see it here. I'll have links down below in the more info section where you can check these out if you do want to get them. Uh, they are available in a number of different colors too. Uh, nothing really on it except for it does talk about on the back that it does come with interchangeable grips for all hand sizes, a soft and anti-scratch case, easy fitment, and it has huge storage capacity in case charging, which is cool. Stores eight different games and it has an adjustable stand so let's go ahead and dive into this now i know this is something the team over at skull and co had been working on for a while uh, walks you right here how to remove and install the grips and also walks you through the slider for it looks like it has a lock very similar to the neo grip so there's the case itself has two additional grips in the box So I do have to com uh, compliment Skull & Co. I think they've really upgraded the fit and finish on their cases as of late. You know, the larger skulls on the zippers. The zippers were always good, but these just feel even better. It provides an even better seal, I think, between the top and the bottom half. Now, I wouldn't say this is a hard case, but it is a hard-ish case. So by that, I mean like if you throw it in your backpack or something like that and you've got a laptop resting against it, it's not going to damage or hurt your switch light. Uh, walks you through the uh, installation instructions in Japanese uh, and more in Japanese so nice little hook and loop strap to keep that down so very cool again very similar again to the Neo Grip look at the storage that you have in here I like the fact that you have so much storage now with the switch light unlike the regular switch you won't have a dock that you would be taking with you but say that you had earbuds like we'll pop the extra grips out of here so these are my Raycon uh, E55s. Fits without a problem. If you want to put in, you know, a charger or you know, extra battery or anything along those lines, you've got plenty of room down there. And again, you do actually have extra grips that come with it. These are the, I think they call these the trigger grips. Uh, we'll find out in a moment. Now we'll slide the case aside, and we will take a. a bigger look at that later but here is the grip case itself now it actually does come in a variety of different colors this is the plum version and then it comes with gray grips on it a little piece of styrofoam in there to keep everything together now to slide the grips on and off it's really easy it's just a pressure fit and there you saw it slid off pretty easily the biggest thing is just to make sure you have your tabs lined up to slide it back on like there I was not aligned there, I was aligned, pretty easy. Uh, pretty flexible TPU type material there. And let's throw in our turquoise boys switch light. And that's pretty much it. It's just a stretch fit to go over the system itself. Provides you access to the charging port on the bottom, uh, cartridge slot, earphones, volume, power. Uh, I, I like that. It, overall, pretty, pretty good. Um, it doesn't deaden the feel of the triggers to me, which I like. I actually think this is really comfortable. This is actually very, very comfortable. 
Uh, now we are gonna check out the other grips that it comes with because it does come with additional ones. And if this is anything like the Neo Grip, this should be, I think they call this the Trigger Grip. It doesn't have a name actually on here itself, but here you can see it kind of has more of a, a shelf for your fingers to rest on, for lack of a better term. Um, contoured a little bit differently. That's the right, and here is the left. So I'll slide these on, and again, with the system actually in the case, it's a lot easier to align everything. So with this, my fingers kind of rest on that there, I don't mind it, it's a bit thick. I actually wish this was a hair taller. Um, that's not bad, that's not bad at all. Now let's try the Slim Grips. Now, I have not liked these in the past, so I'm not anticipating liking these, but this would be for someone with smaller hands or you know, kids, something along those lines. This is the right one. And this is a very minimalist design, as you can see, very low profile on here that there's that and yeah I am not a fan of these myself but that's been consistent across all of their grips so one of the things I want to check real quick is these are actually the grips off of the Neo grip I just want to see if they fit I think they actually might um, which if that's the case that's awesome yeah those I don't expect that I would use this will be the right one if it fits. Uh, I would say no. No, does not fit. So, ooh, come on. I'll just try one more time just to make sure. Yep, nope, does not fit. So that is something I did want to check out just to see like if you already have one of these or any of their other grips for the, uh, for the switch or switch light if it would work. Now, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put on the original grips, not the trigger ones, because these are the ones, quite honestly, that I found the most comfortable. But now what I wanna do too, is take a look. Helps if you put the left on the left and the right on the right. So there's the left side, there's the right side. Now, one thing I do wanna do real quick is compare it to my wife's current favorite grip. Yeah, that's really good. I like that a lot. Um, well balanced, it's comfortable. Um, the one thing, kind of the opposite of the trigger grips, I wish there was a little bit more space between here. I feel like my my index, my middle finger is kind of hitting that a bit close. So I do wish that that had a little bit more of an opening, but it's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. Now I did want to compare it real quick just to the Satisfy grip, because I know this is wildly popular. This has been my wife's grip to date. I actually am not a fan of this. Um, now, a few things of note is it looks like, unlike the Satisfy grip, the left and right grips are symmetrical. So, unlike the Satisfy, where if you see this is much thicker than this side, um, and it kind of shifts everything this way, on the Skull & Co grip, it's centrally balanced, so that's nice. I do like it better than the Satisfy Grip, but I'm not a fan of the Satisfy Grip in the first place. Uh, check out our full-blown review if you want to kind of see that. Um, but overall, yeah, I actually really, really like this. So now let's take a look at how everything fits in the case. We're gonna set the extra grips aside. And as it said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different games that it holds there. And then this is actually where your switch light would be held into place. Flip it down, clasp it like that, everything is good. Uh, no storage in the top of the case, which is a bit surprising. They normally have like a mesh in the top of the max carry cases, so a little bit different on this one here. All of your storage looks to be underneath, and they may have done that to save a little bit of money or make things a little bit lighter weight. Now, you can use this as a stand for tabletop mode that way, which is actually nice. It, it seems like having it all the way back, yeah, you'll want it, at least I would want it all the way back to kind of mount in there. Or maybe like that would work too. So overall, I mean, I like this. It seems very well built, very well put together. And I mean, it's a good value too for what you're getting for a pretty resilient piece here. I mean, the one thing I do wish too 
if they would you know do any other refinements on the cases give me some loops here so that i can use a, a shoulder strap or something uh with this uh, as it is this would probably just go in a laptop bag or a suitcase or something along those lines but this is really really well put together has a little bit of protection here too so let's go ahead and give you some final thoughts I gotta say, Skull & Co. makes some of the finest cases and grips that I've ever tried for the Switch and the Switch OLED, so I was really expecting more of the same for the Switch Lite, and they absolutely delivered. Now, uh, the TPU-style casing on here, not as big of a fan of it as I am on the Neo Grip. I like this molded design. It's more open air, it's lighter, it just, to me, it's it's a preferred design, but this works really, really well. Now, the one thing I was surprised was that the grips aren't cross-compatible between the Switch models and the Switch Lite. I, I expected them to be. I don't know if I should have or not, but it was a little bit surprising. Um, these seem like they are a little bit smaller than what those are. Um, so overall, if you're looking for different grips, just make sure you don't lose the ones that come with the system. Now, I do like the fact that multiple grips are included. I actually like the trigger grips much better on this one than what I did on the Neo Grip case, but I think that's because of the overall size of the switch light. Now, they're low profile grips. These I've just never been a fan of, regardless of whatever system that it's been on. Still not a fan of them. But again, your mileage may vary. If you've got kids with smaller hands, these might be the hot ticket for you to go ahead and get a more comfortable sort of way to play. Uh, the Max Carry Case is still an excellent carry case. They have just refined it over the years. A little surprised to see that mesh netting on the top half was no longer there. I was expecting it, but I guess since you have the extra storage that you're not gonna transport a dock like you would on a full-blown switch, they figured that they could remove that material from the top and put your storage down below. Overall, available in a number of different colors too. I think this is a great way to play your Switch Lite. Super comfortable, and for me, I like it better than the Satisfy Grip. My wife, actually, and her friend Breezy, they both prefer the Satisfy Grip slightly to this. They did like these grips better than the Trigger Grips, and Breezy actually preferred, I think, the thinner grips overall, um, whereas Ginger preferred these just as I did. But these are just my opinions. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I will have links down below to where you can pick up one of these cases in a variety of different colors. Now, it is an affiliate link. It does help support the channel so if you're thinking about buying one it does actually help us out i do want to thank skull and co for sending us one of these to check out i really do appreciate their support of the channel and helping us be able to bring content like this to you also just want to thank you our viewers our fans our followers our patreon members and our channel members too without each and every one of you this channel would not be well, would not be what it is today. Now, if you do want to see other videos that we've done on the Switch Lite, accessories, cases, controllers, chargers, those videos are coming up for you right now. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Production swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you wanna stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Studios. 
If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to CastleManiaGames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code ROCKSOLID10 when you're shopping at CastleManiaGames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.